All right, so today we're talking about one of the biggest unknown secrets to increasing watch time on your YouTube channel, and that's by adding an end screen. And I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to create a YouTube end screen template and increase your watch time. We'll be going over how to create your YouTube end screen step-by-step, step, how to upload your YouTube end screen, and how you can do all this for free in just minutes with this one little YouTube screen hack. Now, if you're excited for today's video and you enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash that like button and share this video with someone else who might wanna increase their watch time. So let's get started. The first thing you need to know is that your end screen can be only a maximum of 20 seconds. Now it can be less than this, but it can only be a maximum of 20 seconds. So let's jump into my computer and let's get started. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to canva.com real quick and we are going to create a YouTube template uh, for free in a matter of minutes. And what we're going to do is going to go over to a video that we like um, and we're going to find an end screen using the end screen hack uh, of a video that uh, of a uh, influencer that we already like. Uh, for instance, uh, Sending Leonard Doozy is one of the video influencers that I like, and we're going to use her in screen as a template. And so we'll just come over to one of her videos. We can choose this one right here, and you can basically choose any video influencer that you like, and then go to the end of their video, wait for their in screen to pop up, and so we're, we're just going to basically use of it use their end screen as a template and take a screenshot of it. You know, I don't know if you have a Mac or um, a PC, but it's shift command uh, four for a Mac user. And then we're gonna take that screenshot and we're gonna go over to Canva and create a design uh, with the custom dimensions of 1920 by 1080. And then we're going to take that screenshot and dump it in there and I've already uploaded the screenshot. Um, so you're just gonna take that upload and size it to the same size of the screen. Just like that. And then you're gonna add in the elements. Um, you can add in shadow boxes like this one here. And then you basically just take that one and size it to whatever size that is as close as possible and once that's done then you just take that and copy that then paste it move it over here and you can use the arrow buttons to get more precise um, if you're if it's moving too fast And then, actually that one was not, so we're gonna take that one and copy that one, then paste that one uh, because it wasn't quite the same size. I'm gonna drag that over there, then paste it again, drag it down here, and then create a, use a circle. And, there's even some other um, other circles like this one here. I'm actually going to use that one instead. Uh, that has like a kind of like a outline around it, and then you just drag it over here to the same size to cover that up. Then we're going to find a um, we're going to take another text box and we're going to create a uh, link box for our social media and then you can change the color of these boxes by just simply clicking up here and you can change the highlight color of the boxes um, maybe you want that one to be that I mean obviously this is going to be covered by the video uh, so that really doesn't matter uh, but if you wanted to uh, you know create it similar or even you know and then you can click on the outside box or the other box right here, and that changes the um, shadow of that one. So I would rather mine be that way. So actually, I could just copy that again and then paste it over here. Well, actually, I would need to delete that one. Um, but then, you know, you get the idea. And then paste it again, delete that one, and 
there you go. And now we got the three boxes. This one's going to be for the video that's going to play over it. This one's going to be for our Instagram links. And then you can just do whatever your link is and insert your text. And see how that's not easily adjusting? So you can go use the arrows as you click on it. And then you can get it to fit with inside the box. And it doesn't have to be the exact same size as hers. This is just a template. And then I can create these watch more. I can make this transparency so it's easier to just decipher what has already been done. And then I can add in these arrows, resize them. Actually, that one's a little bit thick. So we're going to add in this one. Drag that over here to watch more. Then I'm going to copy that one and paste it. And then I can flip it by going the opposite way. And then I can rotate it to do watch more and shrink it down just a little bit. And then I'm actually going to change the color of my arrow to red. I change that one to red. And then I'm going to do uh, sub subscribe text. So you can just go over here to the text box and you can change that to subscribe. Well, say subscribe. And then you can change the font, resize it, use the arrow to move it, change it to a text that you like, whatever that is. And obviously this is going to take a little bit longer depending on whatever it is the text is that you want. Uh, standard stencil, that looks good, it's almost the same as hers. And I'm actually going to change the font to white. Um, and then I'll show through in just a minute. And then I'm going to add some more text by adding watch more. And changing that to a handwriting text. And you can rotate it to at an angle like that. Move it over here. Resize it. After we change it to handwriting, you can search text in here by opening this window, then typing in handwriting and finding a text that is close. Well, why didn't I change all of that? And it's as simple as that. As soon as we find the right text that is closely related. That looks good right there. It's not exactly the same, but it's close enough. I mean, you can fiddle around with it. I'm going to change that to white again. Uh, because I'm going to drop in a background color. Um, I'm going to choose this one. And there you go. Now we have a template that is uh, ready to go. And you know, if you're not satisfied with anything or if you want to you know, see what another one would look like, you can duplicate it. And then you can change out the background uh, to black um, and just play around with it. That's it. That's how you set it all up. That's how you create a template for your YouTube channel. So when you drop in the videos, it's all ready to go. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our uh, end screen. I'm actually going to delete this so I can show you this real quick. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to add and import the media to your library. And then you're going to add your end screen to the timeline at the playhead. And so then you can stretch it out for a duration of 20 seconds. And what we're going to do is in just a second here, uh, right there you can see as it's 19.3, 19 and 30, 19 minutes or 19 
0.23 seconds. Uh, we can stretch it all the way up to 20 seconds. Uh, but that's the full length of the duration of your end screen. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to pop in the video right here. Um, so when your YouTube end screen pops up, uh, the people don't jump off your video and they actually listen to the rest of your video because you're going to be talking right here at the end of the video. Okay, so now we're actually inside my YouTube channel and um, there are actually two ways you can add an end screen to your channel. Uh, the first one being um, that you basically don't have a end screen template made and you basically just add the videos to the end of your end screen. So let me show you how to do that real quick. Uh, but the second one, uh, which I showed you how to, to lay out your template, is going to give you more um, authority in your in your niche. Um, and so it's actually better to have the YouTube end screen template um, at the end of your video rather than just the standard way. But let me show you the standard way real quick. So if you were to click on uh, one of your videos, um, and I'm gonna use this one for an example, which has nothing to do with today's video, but you can go over to edit video, and then you can basically uh, add an end screen to it by just going over to the edit the in YouTube studio. Um, and you get, there's two ways you can get there. You can either get through the, through the actual video, or you can actually go through um, by clicking your um, profile or avatar um, but the way I got there today was through the video and basically what you could do is go down here and uh, select add in screen right here and from here you're gonna go over to add in screen and this is the 20 seconds right here and you can basically change what videos you want to have at the end of the end screen um, by and you can change the length of the duration for the end screen as well. And you can change when they when they show up. So like this one here, this uh, this one has this video here. Uh, and you can move it around, you can resize it. Um, but you can only make it so big and so small like that's the maximum or that's the maximum for the size actually this is the maximum for the size and then you can shrink it down move it over and you can add your subscribe button like this one has here um, to right there and right there um, and then that'll just show up at the end of the video or towards the end of the video uh, as pop-ups and like I said you can change when they show up by moving this and so now it's not going to show up until it gets to that point uh, with the subscribe but that's not what we're going over today but that's one of the ways you can add an end screen to your videos without actually having to do an end screen template i'm not sure why you would want to do that when i've just showed you how to do it for free in a matter of minutes um, but i'm going to discard the changes but that's one way to do it. And now we're gonna pop back over to the video and I'm gonna show you how to uh, actually uh, put yourself inside of the end screen at the end of the video. Now that you've created your YouTube end screen template in just minutes, it's time to get that thing uploaded so you can start increasing your subscribers, views, and watch time on your channel. Oh, so, all right, so now we're inside of my video editing software Camtasia and we're gonna add the end screen to uh, the video. And then we're going to put my video inside of it. And so all you have to do is add it to the timeline of the playhead. And then move this down to where it's going to be the video playing over top of it. And then put the video right there. Uh, sometimes it won't be the exact same size, but you know, as long as it's close enough. And as you can see here, um, I messed up. I have this overlay here, but. No one's really going to know what's going on. And then you're going to move that into the end of the video. And so then when I, when the video is starting to end, that is going to start playing. And content. This is where I teach my secrets, tips, and strategies on how to escape the 9 to 5 rat race and automate your income. And hey, if you'd like to learn more about how you can automate your income, then be sure to check out these videos here. 
so you can learn more about how you can do that. Until next time, my name is Daryl Stout, and I'll see you on the next one. Let me know in the comments today if today's video was helpful for you and what other content you'd like to learn more about on my YouTube channel. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications so you get notified when I release new content. If you'd like to learn more about how you can automate your income, then be sure to check out these videos here so you can learn more about how you can do that. Until next time, my name is Daryl Stout and I'll see you on the next one.